Smells like a wet boot in here, like a wet sock. Something's leaking in the back. It stinks. What a junk box. I'm trading this thing in. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? Christmas is coming. That's a present for somebody. Now, I'm not going to Scotty Kilburn my truck and say it's a junk box and rag on it. I mean, it's two years old. It's got a leak in the back and it stinks. So I'm looking for the leak and I hope this helps somebody out as well. I already took the seats out. I got the, the carpet up where the subwoofer was. I got the padding off the back, uh, firewall off. And I'm trying to determine where the leak is. So let's take a look at it. I have the seats out. The padding on here I took out. You gotta take these panels off. They pop right off to get this padding off. Do a clips here. Seat belts, gonna loosen everything up. That's one of the, this is the threshold that goes here. I pulled that off to make sure there's no water under here, which there isn't. It seems like all the water. Now this is where your subwoofer goes. Well, this is a Laramie. Some of you might not have a subwoofer. Just storage on that side and that side. But the water goes down and sat in here and soaked my carpet. And I had a little bit over there as well. And when I first figured this out, I looked under there when everything was together. And there was a little spot of water right there. And to me, I'm thinking, oh, it's the, it's the window. It's got to be. Or one of these cab vents here and here. So I'm squirting water on the outside with a squirt bottle in specific places one at a time to see where the water's coming from. So I got a squirt bottle like this, right? So I squirt the water in there, specifically in there. On that side. And the left side. You know what I mean? Just kind of get it in that little crevice. All around the window. I even squirted it up here. I took my rear, my third brake light out and squirted water specifically, not inside here, but inside here. I soaked it, really soaked it, let the water fill in there. I came back in the cab and checked everything for let it soak for about five ten minutes and there's no water at all anywhere and then i went outside and squirted the the vents squirted the vents and actually took the cover off and i poured water out of it to really soak them and there's no water at all so that was step two step one was the window step two was these vents now what i'm gonna do which i haven't done yet is put a little water in where the third brake light is Let's see if any water comes in. And I got the squirt bottle. I'm gonna squirt the water in between in the seam right here. Because I'm pretty sure it's leaking in here. Left side. Don't go too far in, you get your headliner wet. Alright, so I'm back in checking. I don't see anything on this side. But I'm looking over there. See? There's some water dripping. Right from there. There's a drip right there. Coming down. Right there. That's fresh. That only happened when I just put the water in. So, it's the third brake light. It's weird because it comes from, like, the corner. The water must travel down. And somehow catch the outside the right side of that panel and come down I see that drip that's a drip and it's going down and that's where I originally saw the water in the first place so it's the third brake light that's good I found that out I like to test everything first because it could be all three things it could be a window it could be these vents but in this case it's just the third brake light I just squirted it again and that's definitely the leak it's funny how it's coming from here though. You think it would come somewhere behind here. It's coming right from there. Now the other side's leaking. I put more water in. The other side's leaking. So it's definitely the third brake light. So I'm kind of relieved. Damn. Leaking like a damn sieve. Let's go look at the third brake light. Thank you. 
So obviously I took it off. And you can see the this is all compressed in. And when you squeeze it, see the water. So not only is it smushed and not doing its job, it's also also saturated. And this one's maybe, you know, at, at its thickest thickest point, probably a uh, quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths. It's just worn out and it's squished at the corners. That's bad. So I got a new one. I went to the dealership and got one. And it's nice and thick. That's about five sixteenths of inch thick. All the way around. OEM. I think it was like 60 bucks. I know you can go online and get them cheaper, but I wanted this done because like we got a snowstorm coming, so. So I'm gonna put the new one on. This one's obviously no good. That's where the lease coming from in the bottom corners. Like that. The water was just creeping in every time it rained. So I'm gonna put the new one on. No more leak. And I got my uh, the rear cap in front of the seats. Uh, it's soaked. Most of the water sat where the storage area was. So I got a little heater, got my blower going. Gonna dry this up. And it smells right now. It smells like a damn wet boot. And these, these are kind of wet. So when the heat's on it, I'm gonna dry it really good before I put it in. I might even squirt some watered down bleach just to get rid of the stink underneath, not on top. Obviously, it's black, it'll turn orange. But underneath, do a little squirt. And uh, yeah, no more wet boot smell. And the good thing is, well, not really a great thing because I wish I, if I saw water at the corners here on the headliner, I would have known quicker exactly what it was. Uh, I didn't have any water at all. So even when it's dry, it can still leak. It doesn't show that it's wet. It kind of sneaks behind this panel here. I was going to take this off, but that's just more crap to put on. Why would I want to do that? I got too much to put together anyways. But it sneaks behind here. It goes down and spreads all over the place. All right, let's slap that damn third brake light in. Pain in my ass. It is tough because it's a two-year-old truck. You know what I mean? You wouldn't expect something like this. What are you gonna do? I gotta stop a leak. Sure as hell ain't gonna drive around in a Laramie with full leather. You know, kind of a nice truck. Well, it's a Ram, of course it's a nice truck, but I mean, you don't wanna smell like a wet boot everywhere you go. The wife comes in, stinks. Kids, eh, it's not, eh. shut up. I'll figure it out, calm your horses. What's that, Anna? You want the 3 8 ratchet? Here you go. Here you go. All right, we found the leak, didn't we? We found the leak, huh? High five. High five, yeah. All right, make sure you clean your surface too. I cleaned mine all nice and clean. Sticker in there. Nice. This is plastic, so. He's got little gaskets on him too. You wanna make sure those aren't messed up. And just take it easy when you, if you're using a power tool, you might want to do it by hand the last two turns. That's it. Alright, third brake light's done, it's in. I'm not gonna leak it anymore. Should it be a recall? I think it should, you know. I want to say thanks to everybody as well on the forums. Uh, so I went on Toon Rams and I asked the question, you know. I got water coming in. And I, I would say about 98% of the answers I got, and there were about 40 of them, probably 50. It's the third brake light. But I like to make sure I want to check. I want to check the window because it could be leaking as well. The, uh, the cab vents. But it was the third brake light. And I want to say thank you to everybody that helped me out. So all this stuff here back panel staying off until I put it together this is gonna dry I did a little 50 bleach 50 water and it kind of sprayed that just to get rid of that sh dirty sock underwear smell it's nasty heat is on got the blower on it keep it up there I'll keep that going for a couple nights 
or maybe just tonight. I'll check it tomorrow. If it's dry, I put it all back together. And no more problems. All right, guys. I hope this helps somebody out. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah, I could have taken it to the dealership. They would have had it for two weeks because the dealership's slow. The light was in stock. It was a quick fix. I just did it. You can get these brake lights online. They're, much, they're way cheaper. I just didn't want to wait. I don't like waiting. I got a big storm coming. We're getting a lot of snow in a couple days. Today's Black Friday. It's going to start snowing Sunday, and I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want the, the water to freeze and get all weird. So I had time today, and I did it. I hope this helps somebody out. And if I don't talk to you guys till Christmas, Merry Christmas. I should be making a couple of videos before then. If not, later.